G'day, this is Adam VA from AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia and this is my 1000 subscriber free giveaway. Um, basically I hit a 1000 subscriber mark about I don't know a week and a half ago and I always said that if I got to 1000 subscribers I would do a free giveaway and this is it. Anyone can enter this free giveaway. Unfortunately, there's two prizes in front of you. Um, you'll have to pick from because uh, this channel has only recently got AdSense and basically I don't have any great funding or budget to do these uh, shows. So um, if you win, you get to pick between one of two products. Anyone who doesn't know that watches my RC stuff, I also do diamagnetic levitation, which is this sort of stuff. Um, I run a small business. I do minor research in this field, all self-funded. And um, yeah, basically, that's the uh, option, prize, product from that side of things. And anyone who watches the magnetic stuff, this, that is unaware that I do micro RC modifications, um, not necessarily on just cars. Basically, if you already own one of these products, for instance, or um, you got a kid that said, I want the car, well, there you go. You can pick the car instead of the device. Anyone who's curious about these two products, uh, this is a um, was it WL Toys RC car available online. I, th I believe in America they're available in uh, stores. I'll do a video on this car, which I'm, I'm editing at the same time as this. Uh, basically, this car has already been modified by me. Uh, it will come supplied with one or two batteries. Um, I'll just quickly open it up and show you the modification. So, and basically with this car, um, I purchased the car and there's a bit of a story behind it, um, it was actually a bit of a lemon, but uh, don't worry, I went over the whole car thoroughly, basically stripped it, rebuilt it, filmed some of the process, and the biggest complaint people have with these cars is that they have to charge them after driving them, so they drive them for maybe 8 minutes and they charge them for 25 minutes, half an hour. So what I did on this car is I put an external lead here, and I ran it to the back of the chassis because it's got so much room, put a velcro pad down, and also put a battery in there, it's a 130 milliamp hour. Stock standard these cars run a 120 milliamp hour um, restricted or controlled battery. It's um, a non-proportional steering car but it's unbelievably good on carpet. Or on concrete. Uh, Although it doesn't have a servo in it, it is really, really good to control, really easy and a lot of fun to drive. I will either be keeping this car and getting another one to send you, which I'll modify the same, or I'll send this one if I can't get another car in time. So that's the car prize option. I'll just put that back there like that for now. Now, the other prize option, which I'll um, put down a whiteboard, and we'll just move the camera and zoom in on it. So the second prize of product is this um, diamagnetic levitation device, which I have been selling online for around the last eight years or so, through my small business called AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia. The details in the description. I'm sure I'll have lots of crap coming up on the screen about it as well. Um, basically, it comes in this clear plastic case. Um, the device will come with um, when you purchase them online or on eBay off me. They come with um, these two parts. Um, one's a circle with a hole in it disc. The other one's this um, triangle, equilateral triangle. Basically um, you put the parts on top of the device, it uh, functions with magnets in opposition with each other and the pyrolytic graphite which is a black material will tend to levitate away from this opposition yet hold its position if the geometries and sizes are right. But we don't have to go into that right now. Basically the device functions, um, levitates as you see and this is the bit that normally gets me in trouble with the US Congress. It functions with no electricity, no power provided to it whatsoever. It will function and do what you see before you right now for the next four to five hundred years. Um, in four to five hundred years, should the magnets become decharged, you can basically recharge the magnets and get another four to five hundred years out of it. So if you pick this as a prize, be prepared to pass it down through seven generations of your family at least. And oh, by the way, the pyrolytic graphite, this black material, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I've been told so far that uh, it would not be hard to expect this stuff to last for 10,000 plus years and still function and look exactly or nearly the same after that time. So, what can you do with it? Well, lots of different stuff. Um, I sell these things all over the world. There's lots of little experiments and tricks and things you can do with static on them. Um, I'll just give you a really brief demonstration of one thing you can do. I'll put the disc on top. 
like that. I'll lower the camera so you can see that it is in fact levitating. Let's zoom in and have a look at that. As you can see there's nothing touching there. It's completely free space behind it. And um, because you're working with magnetics and there's a lot of electron and static electricity sort of electrons going on all around the same place, I found that there's little tricks you can do with this. And this is one of them. I've cut up this foam cube and it's basically just normal polystyrene foam. So I'll just put this piece of blatant advertising in the background while I'm working. So, normal pen, easily influenced with static electricity, but you can take a little further than that, and there's a lot of other experiments like this you can do, and you can even, very carefully, put the lid back on, Now if the room's dry and warm enough and you've got the right clothing on, you can actually do this with your finger, which I'll quickly try now, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Might just have enough today, I don't know. It's a bit moist and damp today. Nothing. Oh, nearly. So anyway, so I'll take the pen. So it's inside a, steel, a sealed chamber and we're still able to manipulate it and control it with the pen from the outside. And depending on the conditions in the room and what clothing you're wearing or what you're using for your uh, wand, um, basically, like I said, you can do this with your finger or you can do it at a great distance from the device. Almost like magic. So, that's it. How do you enter this competition? Well, I'll zoom the camera back and tell you how. How do you win one of these prizes? Well, it's quite easy. Just go into the comments at the end of this video. Um, or the next two videos I do, one will be about this car and one will be about this product. Just leave in the comments, um, subscribe, as one of the requirements of entry, and um, put in the comments, I want to win, and then put something after that. I want to win the car, I want to win the levitator, I want to win because I think it's cool, I want to win because I want to give it to someone. Put a second comment in there after you put in the I want to win part, and I may give away a second prize to the best comment. Also, if you'd like to enter more than once, um, simply rope a friend or someone you know in to subscribe and enter and get them to put your username in their entry and I'll give you a second entry. And I'll get all the entries together, jam them in a Pringles can, get my HHO self one of my previous videos, fire the blow up, blast, I don't know what's going to happen, um, everyone's names on small pieces of paper into the air. The first one I can pick up off the ground, catch out of the air that's uh, readable still, basically wins and then they get to pick between the prizes. Simple as that. So I hope that'll be a little bit of interesting fun too, because if I get enough entries I might have to actually jam two Pringle cans together, that much gas in two cans, and lots of fire, little bits of paper. I'm not really sure what'll happen, but it's going to be interesting either way. That's it. Stick around. Um, I'll say goodbye now, but I'll leave some footage of uh, the car functioning, and I may chuck a little bit of footage in of this thing working and a few different things on it as well. Like what you've seen, I hope you like what you keep seeing. Um, please comment, tell me what you'd like me to do. I'm getting lots of requests to do smaller, different cars and helicopters and things, which is great. Um, I can't fly helicopters or planes, but I do have a proxy pilot that's willing to do it for me after I modify them. So um, keep those ideas coming, and um, I'm very grateful <laughs> the ones I've been asked to do. Uh, very cheap, low budget, um, $15, $20 sort of vehicles and that that any kid can afford or anyone can get their hands on. That's the sort of stuff we're sort of after. Uh, for these videos, that way I can keep the price down and anyone can have a go. Thank you very much for your time, you've stuck around this long. Um, if you want to see this car in action, um, please stick around if, if you're keen for it because it's, I was shocked. This car is actually unbelievable for the price. It cost $30, um, you know, for me to get the thing. Uh, admittedly, I got a dud, but I did fix it. Um, and I made it stock, but changed one thing about it, it gives it a little more power, a little more speed. But basically, the handling of the car and such, I haven't changed. And um, yeah, that's probably the best part about the car. And having a brake as well, so you can slow down before the corner so you don't roll over. Groovy. Um, see you in the next video. And uh, this is Adam from AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia, signing out.